Have you got an EV or are you maybe thinking about an EV? If so, if you're new to this or still thinking about it, you may be a little bit worried about range. It seems to be the thing that everybody worries about. Once you've got one, you won't really worry about it much at all in my experience. But I had a thought this morning as I was driving into work. So I'm not in my own car, which has got a big 77 kilowatt hour battery. I am in the Skoda Elrock with the fancy orange seat belts and it's a 60, so it's got a 59 kilowatt hour battery. And that doesn't go as far as my own car. So I worked out in the winter time at the moment, it's three degrees this morning, and I have been getting about 105 miles for every 50%. So call it 210 miles. Still enough for my daily needs. Like I didn't drive, uh, I drove to work yesterday, I didn't charge this up last night, and I've driven back in again today. So it's two days of commuting. Car started at 80% on Monday morning. It's now Tuesday morning and it's at 62%. And I've got a 13 mile commute to work each way. So it's more than enough. But I think that range anxiety amongst new people or people who are thinking about buying an EV is probably caused by the fact that the fuel gauge, the battery gauge, doesn't look like it did in a petrol car. It's got a really detailed percentage. You can tell to the, the nearest 1% what state of your charge your battery's at. Would it be less stressful? I don't know, I'd be interested in your comments. Would it be less stressful if it did what your petrol or diesel car did? If you think about your gauge in that, it said full, three quarters full, half full, quarter full, and then, oh my goodness, the light's gone on, I'd better go and find some fuel. If the battery gauge did that in an EV, would that be less stressful? Maybe it's one for manufacturers to think about. When the Skoda Elrock, sorry, when the Skoda Enyaq came out in 2021, it didn't actually have a battery percentage. What it had though was a little battery meter, a little green bar with, I think, nine or 10 segments within it. And you couldn't really tell how full your battery was unless you actually peered really closely at it and tried to count the number of bars. And that's not exactly great. So what we've got now is an improvement, but I don't know. Would an old style fuel gauge maybe be better? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will be bringing you some more content very soon about this car, the Skoda Elrock with its fancy orange seat belts, because I've had it for just over a week and so I've filmed quite a number of trips in it. So stay tuned for some of that. I'll see you in another video very soon.